Hey, so what you guys are about to see is just a little bit of video at the end of um, sparring, and I always do shadow boxing at the end of training with Yokun Pan. Uh, Yokun Pan is a huge proponent of shadow boxing, and he really shaped himself as a fighter from young until being Raja Damner and Lumpany champion through a lot of shadow boxing. You can see his full hour session in the Muay Thai library teaching me uh, the ins and outs of shadow boxing, the importance of it, and things like this. But because I've been working with Yodkun Pan, I've been shadow boxing a lot. Uh, like it started with 20 minutes a day, like um, five minutes before training, five minutes after, and then I have two trainings a day. And then uh, things changed in training and it's moved to 40 minutes. So I'm doing a lot of shadow boxing. And even though I'm doing so much of it, there's always these little changes that come in. And so this was at the end of our um, training session and I had already done my 10 minutes after uh, our session and he started to kind of note little things in my shadow boxing that he had noted uh, in our sparring as well and so he started adjusting my shadow boxing based on what he'd been feeling in our sparring and so this is basically shadow boxing that's almost entirely only footwork um, and so this is footwork shadow boxing and he's trying to kind of get me to cut off the ring a little bit so um, yeah I'll show you guys what that is so this is just going to be a steady camera. This is just my tripod, so uh, I might fall out of the frame a little bit. But look at how light on his feet he is, and look at how he switches stance, but without like fully switching stance. It's like he kind of goes in between for a minute. So this is more or less just relaxed and just trying to cover as much of the ring as possible. So the footwork is meant to cover a lot of distance and cut someone off. So he's saying when you go left, he wants me to go left really far. When I go right, I go right pretty far by itself, but when I go left, I don't cover as much distance. So he's trying to get me to feel left and right covering a lot of distance. So he's saying you don't waste any movements. Um, you're not taking more steps than you need, but you're cutting your opponent off really well. And so you just want to feel the change of direction. You want to feel uh, like turning on a dime, basically. A lot of his emphasis on shadow boxing is about feeling. Um, and so by doing it a lot, you start to feel a uh, change of direction, shift in weight, where weapons can come out, this kind of thing. So. By focusing on footwork and keeping it pretty relaxed, it's basically how would you move around the ring by covering a lot of space and feeling that. Len took one, he likes to say. He says, do this every day. So he's saying if you're just standing right in front of someone and you come to throw an elbow, they're going to see you. So he's basically giving me like a running head start, like doing all of this footwork as you're tracking someone down, and then you decide to go in for the kill, and they have no way of monitoring that you've just changed um, rhythm or direction. It's like the sandworms in Dune, how you like don't really have a rhythm, so they can't track it. I'm doing this thing that I actually took from Karahat, which is that I'm galloping around in Yodkun Pan style, and then I'll just literally break into a walk, like as though you're walking down the street, and throw a strike out of that. It is incredibly off-putting. Um, I've never not landed something when I do that. It's when you just start walking normally, <laughs> people are like, oh, I'll just stand here. So I am kind of putting my arms up like I'm going to touch someone's guard and I'm striking a little bit out of this, but the point is actually covering all the distance. The point is not to throw a lot of strikes, but to feel where the strikes would come out. And um, watching myself here, uh, the way that my arms are up, I'd like them to be a little bit firmer. You can see this when Yodkun Pan is moving around. His arms aren't tight, but look at how uh, composed they are. He's so awesome. When he watches me, sometimes he just has to get up and do it himself. He's like, let's dance. So here he made a correction to me where he's like, make sure that your changes of direction and your galloping around implements your torso as well, like use your whole body. So that's what you're seeing here where it looks like kind of a boxer slip. It's a little bit of a fake, 
changing direction instead of being like a brick that's prancing around the room. <laughs> you want it to be a little bit more flexible. But I can actually feel, because of that uh, twist in my torso, I can feel where weapons would come out of that a little bit better. But again, the change of direction, the spinning on my feet, the like pivoting, all of this is becoming familiar with every single twist and turn and gallop and covering distance. So now he's telling me to stay in one spot to throw these knees, and I actually didn't understand him at the moment that he was saying this. He's incredible when he does this. See how he's loose even though he's staying in one spot? So I'm, the way I misunderstood him is that I'm covering distance with these knees, and he's like, no, no, stay in one spot. So footwork, cover the entire ring, and then when you're going to throw these knees, literally stand in one spot. I can't fully identify where the difference is between his and mine. I can see the difference, but I can't pinpoint where it is. He has like a twist in his hip that I don't quite get. He, he crosses his own body with his knee, which uh, Diesel Noy does also. A little bit flatter on my standing foot too, I think. But it's an interesting concept. When you're gonna throw the strikes, try to stay in one spot so that your feet aren't like dragging you around. And then between strikes, focus on your footwork to carry you all the way around the ring. And it's the same thing with like, if you kick the head in a fight, you'll probably kick the body. He's having me exaggerate covering distance so that in a real fight, it would be less. <laughs> 